This is Virginia Sports Live on WFXR. And welcome back, everybody, to Virginia Sports Live. We come to the part of the show where it is WFXR Sports Story Time. The Plasky Yankees baseball season is in full swing for its third year at Calfee Park. And our Brooke Leonard has more on the voice that is telling the story of the season. In the summer of 2015, the Pulaski Yankees took the field for the first time with Kyle Bailey in the booth. The following summer, after the revitalization of Calfee Park, the town of Pulaski was buzzing, as was Danny Noakes, who was taking Bailey's spot in the press box as the voice of the Yankees. On a Friday night in Pulaski, Virginia, this is where you will find what seems like the entire town, Calfee Park. And just meters above home plate sits Danny Noakes, play-by-play for the New York Yankees affiliate. Still one nothing, ready to begin the bottom of the second, leading off here for the Pulaski Yankees. The Noakes, a Virginia Tech Andres grad, Chicago. got his start in broadcasting thanks to his fraternity brother and two historic play-by-play -play guys. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. When I was a sophomore and when I was pledging the fraternity of Phi Gamma Delta, I met a guy named Wolf Golkey. He's the one that put me in touch with my first bosses at Virginia Tech, which were Andrew Allegretta and Bill Roth. With mentors like Bill Roth and Andrew Allegretta, one cannot be set up to fail. They go out of their way to make sure that everyone's taken care of and that they're lined up for the best opportunities possible. And did the opportunities come for Danny? His first professional on-air debut came by lead of the Bluefield Blue Jays. In 2015, Danny took over the CBS Super Sports booth for Kyle Bailey, along with his spot at Caffey Park. While play-by-play -play was familiar, talk radio was an entirely different ballpark. When I first got on the air here at Super Sports, I didn't really know what I was doing. And to be honest with you, I still really don't know what I'm doing, but every day is a learning experience. But trouble hasn't seemed to find Danny yet due to his dedicated listeners. We're out in the public if we're doing a remote or whatever it is. When they come up and tell us that they really enjoy listening to the show, it makes your day every single time. And that is what makes this job worth it and makes it a lot of fun, you know? The Super Sports listeners also transcend into Pulaski Yankees listeners as well. Noakes broadcasts all the home games on 101.7, but often he finds that isn't always needed. The fans, as I was talking about, you know, the listeners, it's all a very tight-knit group. Each of the last two years, the Yankees have led the Appalachian League in attendance. In 2015, they won the Appalachian League East, and, and then they flip it around, and they're the worst team. But the attendance didn't drop. This isn't the first time a minor league team has been in the town. The Mariners were the home team for seven years before the Yankees stepped in, but it was the Calfee Park renovation in 2015 that truly drew crowds to find out just what Pulaski had to offer. You definitely can't overstate how much the Yankees coming back to Calfee Park meant to the town of Pulaski. The, the fans show up to every home game, but you see just the way that the Yankees are out in the public right now, you know, they're, they're doing their best to help in the community and whatnot, so them coming back to Pulaski has been tremendous. The Yankees may be here to stay in Pulaski, but Danny doesn't have plans to strike out anytime soon. I'm trying to live in the moment right now, and I love Blacksburg as well, and Virginia Tech is my second home. It's my alma mater, and right now, I don't, I don't have any plans to leave and, and that's kind of where I'm leaving it at for now. <laughs> so for now, you can expect Danny in the booth and on the mic for years to come. And Brooke, pardon the pun, but you had a home runner with this story with Danny. <laughs> no, so you you, uh, you spent some time on his radio show. What's it like being on yeah, a show? Yeah, you know, he says that he doesn't know what he's doing, <laughs> but he definitely does. He's so talented, and I love coming in there. I, uh, I, it's nice to, you know, just sit and talk and have nice conversation, kind of less pressure, so it's awesome. I love it. I like talking sports. That's yeah, what we do exactly. here. Well, we go from a man with a voice to a man with a plan. From